fishing is you're always, you're always looking for that super secret spot. You're always looking to try and find an area nobody else is, is ever fishing. When a lot of times the most obvious places are, are always you know, gonna hold fish. I mean, you always want the, the three main things. You want structure, you want good tide, you know, and you want good bait. And um, you know, if you've got those three things, a lot of times you're gonna catch fish. You know, like this right here is a really, really nice, nice trout. Yeah, and these little spots like this, these rock bars and stuff next to deep channels, you know, they're gonna hold a lot of different kinds of fish too. I mean, we've caught trout, we've caught little grouper, we've caught sea bass, you'll catch jacks, redfish. I mean, you can catch just about anything on them. And they're a lot of fun. That right there is a really nice, nice trout. trout. And you know, we're fishing a place that literally is within paddle distance of a lot of houses. This is not some yeah. out of the way place. That's a beautiful trip. Yeah, it's a pretty trip, probably about 20 inches. And, um, but yeah, a lot of people drive right by all these spots. I mean, we drive by them on a daily basis and don't think about them, but when the tides are right and the, you know, everything, everything sets up, there's, there's fish here and they'll eat. And don't pass up, don't pass up places that just because they're easy access that you think that there aren't going to be fish there because people have worn them out or, or it just looks too easy to be true because like Greg said, it's just the right conditions. Really, it's the right conditions that, that uh, produce good fishing.